full-time job, or perhaps you run a business and have a family like I do, you might be wondering how the heck you're going to fit book writing into your schedule. Well, if you're wondering that, let me tell you, it's not easy, but you can do it, and I'll explain a few options for you to get your book done this year. Hey there, I'm Julie the Book Broad. I'm an Amazon overall number one best-selling author and the founder of a fabulous company called Book Launchers. Our superpower is caring more about you and your book and your success than anybody else as we help you write, publish, and sell a nonfiction book that will boost your brand and make you money. We take creating great books very seriously. Actually, a great book starts with an awesome hook and a clear understanding of who your reader is. But once you have that, you have to get the words down on paper. So how you do that when you're working full time, running a business, or you have a crazy busy family life, or maybe all of the above, I have some suggestions for you in a second. But first, let's clear the air. You will never have time to write a book. You have to make time, period. Ideally, you can make time in the morning because you're fresher and your day hasn't had a chance to blow up on you. <laughs> but you have to make time. And writing a book is going to be harder and take longer than you expect, especially if you're trying to make a great book that you'll be proud of for years. Getting help in the form of a program, a writing coach, or a group to support you and hold you accountable will help you a lot. And let me tell you, from the 100 clients we've worked at with book launchers in the last year, the ones who finish their book are rarely motivated by money. The thing that gets many authors' books done is picturing a person they're going to help, a life they're going to make better because they got their book done and shared it. The other thing that gets a book done is knowing that you have to do this book. You have to get it out of you or it's going to haunt you forever. Or maybe it's knowing you're letting people down if you don't write the book. You have to ground your goal of writing this book with something bigger than you. And usually that's something also bigger than money. So with that out of the way, you've got a great reason for writing this book and you know you have to make the time for it. What are the best ways to get a book done when you're working full time? Well, number one, my favorite recommendation for people who commute is talk a lot of your book out while you're driving and get that recording transcribed. Once you have your outline, you can get in the car and think, okay, today I'm gonna record chapter two, subheading, whatever that topic is, and you'll tell your opening story, give some steps, or explain that concept. Then if you need to add research, you just make a note while you're talking, and when you read it, you'll see that you need to add something there. It's a great way to get a lot of words down on paper while you're doing something that you already have to do. Number two, if you hate writing and have a budget of at least $10,000 for your book project, hire a writer. Truly, this is a huge time saving because you can cut months and months off your project by getting a professional writer to do the work. We have some amazing writers at Book Launchers pre-screened and trained in the hashtag no boring books way. So you can connect with us if you wanna chat about that. Otherwise, I have some videos that I'll link to in the description below on how to hire a ghostwriter. A writer can take existing content that you have and craft it into the book, and then they'll interview you for the rest. You can do interviews from anywhere, waiting for a plane, in an Uber, en route to a meeting or an event, walking the dog. It really takes the excuse out of getting a book written. Of course, you will need to be at your desk to read what is written and offer input for reworking and adding to it, but first you need a book to improve, and a writer can help you get there. Number three, schedule it in and stick to it. Because the book isn't urgent, it can easily be bumped in your schedule, but you need to stick to this schedule like it's the important appointment that it is. I prefer first thing in the morning or even weekends because it's quieter. And if you can find a writing buddy to hold you accountable to this, I highly recommend it. You can even make it a meeting with that friend or colleague and write together over FaceTime or Zoom. Number four, if all of the above doesn't work for you for whatever reason, carry your book with you everywhere on your phone and just write when you're waiting. I know an author who wrote 50% of her book while on the bike at the gym, while riding the subway, and she even said when she's waiting at the doctor's office, rather than surfing Facebook, she pulled out her phone and worked on her manuscript. It wasn't easy typing going, <laughs> but she got more than half of her book done during that time that was otherwise wasted waiting or getting her heart rate up. There's a way to get this book done if you're truly committed to getting it done. And sometimes you might just have to clear your schedule and go away for a couple of days. But if you're truly committed to getting your book out, you're going to find a way. But a lot of people still need help and that's what Book Launchers is for. How do you write when your life is so busy? Share your best tips in the comments below. And when you comment the day a video is released, you'll be entered to win some sweet 
hashtag no boring books swag. Now, if you haven't seen the video on creating a great hook for your book, this is a must, must watch and it's right here. And this video right here on what makes a great nonfiction book chapter, well, that's a must too. So what do you wanna see, that one? or that one, go ahead and click either way. Stop staring at me here and let's go hang out together on the other one. Got it? Good, now click away.